What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're taking a look at Cattails again. This game, we played it last time like in early access. This time around the game's like in 1.3 or like 1.4. It's actually released and done. And it's coming out for the Switch. Well, it already came out for the Switch, alright? I tried to make it sound more interesting than it was, but it's already out for the Switch. So if you ever wanted to play a feline survival game, Cattails might be the one for you. However, I have to warn you, the intro to this game is really sad. It's like Watership Down levels of sad. You gotta watch out. And so like... We're gonna go for a new game right now, but it's gonna be depressing. A difficulty, we'll go on normal. Would you like to skip the intro and tutorial? Eh, we could play through it, why not? I mean, you guys gotta see this. If I gotta go through the sad part, you gotta go through the sad part. We're gonna have yellow eyes, and then we're gonna be like a black kitty. And then his name is going to be... Alistair. How come it didn't capitalize? Oh, I'm holding the shift key, but why? Alistair? There we go. Only left shift works. Right shift does not work. Perfect. A lot of people think that Ollie's full name is Oliver. It's not. Ollie's full name, my cat, is Alistair. It's a weird name, I know. But it just seemed to fit because he's fancy and he's also haughty and he's a bit of a dick. Oh man, I'm not ready to cry right now. I'm not ready! I don't know who could be an asshole like that. Like, who takes a kitten away from a child and just, like, abandons it on the side of the road? That's a serious sociopathic piece of shit human being. Like, that's a terrible human being. Like, an awful human being. Like, what happened to you? Like, legitimately, I feel the need to bitch this person out and just be like, you are awful. Like, you deserve all the terrible karma in the entire world. Who adopts a pet, gives it to their child, gets mad at their kid takes it away and then abandons it on the side of a road instead of finding it a home. Taking it away is bad enough, especially since it didn't even seem like the kid was doing anything bad. Like, man, what a asshole. Mom is a real piece of work. Hey, what are you doing out here? You don't look like you're from around here. I'm Coco, by the way. Why don't you come over here and tell me your name? Alright. Let's go talk. Say your name's Alistair, huh? It's a pretty good name, if you don't mind me saying. You said you were left here all by yourself? They dropped you off on the side of the road. Well, terrible. Well, if that's your story, you've got a bit of learning ahead of you. You're gonna have to fend for yourself out here in the wild. You don't know how to forage, hunt, and fight. You can't expect to live more than a few days. You better listen closely to everything I have to say. I can show you how to survive around these parts, but first things first, you're gonna need, how to, need to know how to forage. There should be some golden seal around here. It's kind of a green leafy plant with a bright red berry. We use it for our wounds. Why don't you find some golden seal and bring it? Shouldn't be too hard to locate. Let me know if you need some help, all right? Go and gather. All right, let's go find some golden seal. Let's see what's up out here. There's like a plant over here. What is this? That looks like it. Oh, got that golden seal. The seal is go. Can I do like kitty attacks? Yeah, kitty attacks. I fight you bushes. Kitty attack. Looks like you found some golden seal. Why don't you try giving it to me? You'll have to dig it up from your inventory and hold it in your mouth first. All right. Yes, I put it inside of my mouth. Great work. You'll be foraging like a pro soon enough. Go ahead and keep the golden seal, by the way. You never know when it may come in handy. I'll leave it in your inventory. There's lots of plants that grow around here in the wild. Golden seal, lavender, catnip, marigold. They all have unique uses, so make sure you gather some up and try them out if you see them. 
Just remember, all plants need time to grow back after they've been harvested, and some are only going to grow in certain seasons. You're also going to need to know how to find food for yourself. You'll need to eat regularly to stay healthy and alive. You can eat plants like berries and licorice root, but they don't really fill you up. You'll mainly want to eat prey that you catch with your four paws. That's the good stuff. I don't suppose you know how to hunt, do you? I'll show you the way. Why don't you sneak around and find a mouse? They make for their tasty snacks. Sneak around so they don't hear you coming, and then get close so you can focus. You want to get as close as possible without scaring them off. The closer you get, the better chance you have of catching them. And don't worry, they're not super good at spotting us, so you can probably get pretty close. Then you pounce on it, and if you did it right, you'll have a meal waiting for you in the grass. Don't worry if you miss your first few tries. Hunting's tricky, and you won't always catch the prey. Just keep moving and try again. You got all that? If you need to hear it again, just talk to me, and I'll repeat myself for you. Good luck, and happy hunting. All right. Oh, there's a there's a mouse right there. All right, I didn't see him. Okay, so it scares him if I get too close. Gotcha. It scares him off if I get inside that ring. Hold shift and locate a mouse. There's going to be one around here. There's one. Oh, he can see me. He can see me. All right. So the focus bubble is filling up. Yeah, I got myself a mouse. We're a kitty gangster out here in these streets. Where are you coming from, mouse? Where are you going? You don't even know because I'm all over you. I'm all over you like white on rice. You don't even know. Unless it's like that brown rice, like that dirty rice. Or if it's like Spanish rice. And then, you know, associate the appropriate color with the rice. That's all I'm saying. Let's go back. Nicely done. You're a natural hunter. But you'll need a whole lot more than a measly mouse to keep yourself fed and in top shape. Don't let it get to your head. You can find all sorts of prey to hunt throughout the wilderness. Most are going to see you coming from a lot further away than a mouse will. So you'll need to stay alert and keep learning. You can always get better at hunting by spending experience on the passive hunting skill in your skills panel. All this hard work probably made you hungry. You might as well eat that mouse, right? Alright. Let's eat the mouse. Nom 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 nom. Make sure you keep an eye on how hungry you are. It could be the difference between life and death. You have any special skills? Any sort of training that cats of your upbringing go through? No? None at all, huh? Well, that's not surprising. I'm about to teach you a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. You can use it to gain a quick burst of speed. You can use Sprint to cover ground quickly to run away from a fight that's too big for you or catch up with prey that's escaping. Yay, I've got Sprint. I'm a speedy kitty. Wow. Yep, that's how it's done. You can use sprint every now and again, but after a while, you have to wait a few seconds. All right. Okay, he wants me to fight him now. I just didn't want to talk about the skills menu because, like, it's a really long part, and I already, like, know about skills. Like, it works the same, like, in every video game, you know what I mean? You come over here, you get XP, you put it into stuff. You ready to spar with me? Yeah, let's fight. All right, a few pointers. Cats fight by pawing at each other with their claws. It takes some time to complete an attack, and during that time, you won't be able to react to my attacks, so time them just right. You want to make use of your agility and escape. Anticipate and get away before they hit. All right. Well, I was trying to dodge it, but Coco's being a hater over here trying to work me over. There we go. Put up a good fight. You got a lot to learn, but you're not bad for a beginner. You can always become better at fighting by spending experience on your passive fighting. Fighting is a great way to flex your political muscle, too. Every day, a few battles will begin along the borders of the colonies. If you participate, you could help a colony gain influence over an area. Speaking of colonies, you want to join one? It's a great way to get started in the wild. I know of all the three major colonies here and have a spare den to give you if you'd like it. You're actually not far from Forest Colony right now. I can leave you there and help you get settled in. I'm sure Mayor wouldn't mind having a new face around. How does that sound? What are my other options? Well, there's three major colonies. I'll tell you about them. You can make your choice. There's Forest Colony. They're good, friendly cats that live in a bramble patch. There's also Mountain Domain, a bunch of cats that live near a waterfall in a rocky basin. They're up north. They're led by a fighter named Leo. He's always looking for more paws to bolster the border skirmishers in the domain. There's Mystic Colony, strange cats that live in hollow logs deep in an old wetland. You may find their leader hard to connect with, but Elise is a good cat at heart. They all are, even the wacky ones. So what do you think? Let's go to Mountain Domain. All right, I'll take you to Mountain Domain. Here we are. This is your new den. You'll want to visit your den often. Here you can sleep and save your progress. You can also use the space to store your items if you'd like. Remember to save your progress frequently if you play by using your bed. 
or as you play by using your bed. It's a good idea to say before sleeping each other. I was like, wait a minute, that sentence doesn't make sense. This is where we'll have to part ways, Alistair. I hope you remember your training well. It was good to meet you. You've had a busy day. Get some sleep. I'll return to check up on you soon. Until then... Ooh. What? Did that dude just use magic powers? Uh, let's save the game, obviously. And then we'll also go to sleep for a little while. Yep, get a little cat nap in. As I understand it, cats sleep a great proportion of every single day. My cat, like, never wakes up unless it's to, like, harass me and bother me. Like, he wakes up for the sole purpose of biting me, scratching me, and generally abusing me. And then he goes back to sleep. Hey, good day. Coco told me to be expecting somebody new soon. I'm Leo. I'm the leader of Mountain Domain. I'm here to greet you on behalf of our community. I hope you find your dead comfortable enough. I know that a cave can be a bit drafty sometimes. It's your duty to make sure you introduce yourself to everyone around town once you're all settled in. You should definitely say hello to Delta, our shopkeeper. Also talk to Luna, our healer. You can find me at the top of the rocky stairs on the west side of town, though I'm usually busy with meetings and battle preparations. We're preparing for the summer festival. We hope you're able to join us for the festivities. Cats of every colony come together to the sacred temple at the end of each season for the festivals. There's usually games and prizes you can win. The summer festival takes place on the 10th of summer. I'll leave you be for now. Welcome to Mountain Domain, Alistair. All right. Sounds good. Hello, Luna. Hi, can I help you? It's nice of you to stop by and all. I'm, I'm Luna. I run the clinic, so I guess I can heal you and stuff if you get injured. That's about it. Okay, Luna. Sounds like you're a cat of few words, and I appreciate that. Yo, is that a sword right there? Can I be a cat with a sword? Who goes there? Hearken to my words, traveler. You are not from this realm, are you? The coming is most peculiar. Thou speakest to Arthur, noble knight of the mountain domain. I mark how thy spirit swells with pride at the mention of our proud kingdom. It is a happy fate that we should meet on this day. I shall remember thee, noble one. All right. Hello there. I don't believe we've met before. My name is Robin. What's yours? Alistair, huh? Well, that suits you. It's nice to meet you, Alistair. You ever need someone to talk to? I'm always willing to listen. Welcome to the Mountain Domain. All right. Hello there. Anything I can do for you today? Oh, I don't believe I know you, do I? Well, I'm Delta, and I'm a shopkeeper around here. Hope to see you around. Okay, well, we've, like, met some people and, like, done some stuff. Let's go, like, be a cat. Everybody, everybody, everybody wants to be a cat. How do I get a map? That's my question. Right there. Okay, so we can, like, find our way home and everything. There's a red exclamation point over here. I think that probably means there's a battle or something going on. What is that, like a squirrel? Oh, I missed. Damn it. I thought I had him. I thought I had him. What is this over here? Can I collect this? No. All right, let's like speedy boost around for a second. Oh, there's a mouse over here. Let's get him. I think I gotta get closer. I don't think I'm like close enough. There's a rabbit. I don't know if a rabbit's gonna be easy to catch for a cat. They're kind of of similar size. Oh, I got him. I got a squirrel. All right. Out here getting that dinner, taking care of business. What is this thing over here, valerian root? Isn't valerian for like sleeping or something like that? It's like a sleeping, oh, there's a mouse over here. Oh my God, I am terrible at swimming. That didn't help at all. Apparently mice are much better at swimming than I am. Look, cattails over here, it's the name of the game. Uh, let's see. probably a bad decision but I want to be on this side of the river there we go like I'll take a little bit of damage that's fine I don't really care about that I just don't want to be on that side of the river oh, there's a mouse over here too all right let's sneak up on him I think he ran for the edge of the map I don't see him anymore hmm Ooh, raspberries golden seal yeah let's grab all this stuff Looks good to me. I'm gonna like creep around for a second. Can I get that giant mushroom right there? That's a hell of a mushroom. That's a beefy mo- oh, there's a frog over here. Let me see if I can catch this frog. Let's 
Oh, I couldn't get close to him at all. I needed to get closer for the pounce, but it was just like he was on me. Let's go with a, so like a hunting upgrade, finding, tracking, and killing prey. The hunter will become better at pouncing on small creatures, focus faster, and get a scent compass. Yeah, I'll get a hunting level. Why not? Hunting sounds good. Got a little bit more golden seal down here, too, and some more raspberries. I don't see any more critters around here. I mean, we have a squirrel. I figure a squirrel's probably pretty... What is this right here? Like, where are we? Tomb Creek. Okay. Can I read the headstone? No. The headstone is not readable. That's fine. There's a butterfly over here. Can I catch it? I can. Oh, we got an Azure Butterfly. Nice. Okay, I don't think we, like, unlocked anything. A licorice root? We have those plants where I live, too. They're like licorice bushes. They always smell like licorice. I don't know if they're actually licorice, but they smell like it. They're like these wispy-looking plants that are, like, all over the place. Usually down by water sources, like creeks and stuff like that. Any place where there's water flowing, you'll probably find them. Well, let's continue walking around and doing, like, our feline survival thing. Oh, look, my cat is here now. Hello, Ollie. I promise never to abandon you on the side of a road, no matter how much of a little douche you are to me. And trust me, his capacity for douchiness is pretty high. My cat is pretty good at being a massive douche. So like, that's a promise right there. Oh, this guy wants to fight me though. Oh, he hit me for five, son. Run! Run away! That cat is clearly much better equipped for combat than I. Now we are gonna have to eat dinner pretty soon. Let me see if I didn't really catch anything today. I got a squirrel. I'll eat him, because why not? I've also got golden seal. I can use that, and maybe I'll get a little bit of health back. Not a lot, but it's something. Yeah, make yourself comfortable, man. He's like pitching a tent on my lap right now. Ooh, ooh. I missed. Oh, this guy wants to fight me too, though? You don't want to do that? You don't want to do that? You want to see me like that, Hal? You want to see me like that? Uh-oh, he wants to see me like that. He's got homies. He's got homies. Oh, we gotta fight this one out. We gotta fight this one. Oh, how? How? I dare. Oh, run! Run! Flee! Kinda got beat up, man. Kinda had like a rough day. I'm gonna need to like heal up a little bit. I gotta like take a second and like look at my life. And be like, maybe, maybe I'm not built for combat. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe I'm not a fighter. Like, I know everybody fancies themselves to be like a fighter, you know what I mean? But like, maybe I'm not the one. Damn, I can't get close to those things for nothing. I gotta find like some smaller game around here. Like, all we're finding is stuff that's like, beefier than us. Like, rabbits and stuff that I don't even know if a cat could get a rabbit. Rabbits are pretty big, dude. You ever seen a jackrabbit before? They're kind of like, massive. Like, jackrabbits are pretty big. Hello there. Have you spoken with Arthur? That cat's funny to listen to. He's always talking about knights and honor. The other day he was trying to tell me a story about a dragon that used to live in the woods of the southwest. I don't know where those ideas come from. Alright. Let's go to the healer first. I think that's probably... The wooden board has many tasks. What's today's task? Extra sneaky. We need somebody to catch, catch ten prey. That's a, that's, a, that's a lot of prey in one day for somebody that's not very good at preying upon things. I'm not trying to be negative right now, but I need healing. 17 Mews. I'm pretty beat up right now. I don't think I can afford it. Like, I think we should kick it with Arthur. Like, Arthur seems like the guy that's probably got, like, his stuff together. I'm trying to get paid some cat coins. Uh, I will sell you things. I don't really know what I want to sell. You want a butterfly? What does Valerian do? A pungent herb. It reinvigorates? Alright, well you can have this because I need money. Like, I'm like poor right now and I need some more Muse. Like, I'm just going to be like an herb gatherer for a little bit. Yeah, let's get 12 more. All right, we got a little bit of cash now. So I can, like, afford to be healed. Probably help out. I wonder if I heal while I sleep, because it's, like, nighttime right now. Before I pay for healing, let's go see if we heal while we sleep. Maybe we do, maybe we don't, but I'm going to try it out.
Yeah, we heal a little bit while we sleep. We get about like half whatever our deficit is back, I think. Who's this dude? Hey, Alistair, how you doing today? Listen, there's something I want you to see. Something tells me you could help me with it. Maybe you can restore the balance. You get a free moment. Come to Sacred Temple. It's right in the middle of the wilderness. You can find it on your map. I'll meet you there. Can we just talk about how he keeps, like, Dragon Ball Z teleporting away? And how that's not natural? And that, like, a good God-fearing cat should not do that? I tried really hard, everybody. I tried really, really hard. I wonder if it's based on, like, a chance. Oh, I thought I could get him. Oh, if I wasn't getting stuck on stuff, I think I could. Damn! We just missed out on a Black Bunny dinner. Who are you? Hold your head high and proud, Alistair. You belong to a strong and prestigious colony. All right. Cool, man. The bunny has left us. We are gonna have to find some food pretty soon. Are there any animals around here? I'm not very good at hunting, dude. I need to like get better at this whole hunting thing. I keep spooking stuff that's like barely on screen too. Like, see, you can barely see it. Maybe I just should be like sneaking all the time, but I'm so slow. I'm so slow. Oh, I got the rabbit. Nice, dude. Well, that sounds like dinner to me. Yup. Like, how much do you really need? Oh, there's a seagull. I tried. Like, I think it's based on a chance, based on your hunting skill. Like, I think you can pounce from any range, but like, the farther away you are, maybe- Oh, there's like a battle going on over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try to tank out here. I'm gonna try to tank. Oof, they do so much damage. The battle is won. Give me thy muse. Do I have golden seal? Because I'm kind of like beat up right now. Apparently, I jumped in on that fight. We got enough XP for skills right now? We do? Should I take hunting or fighting? I'm gonna take another one for hunting. Like, I wanna be like a really, really good kitty hunter. I feel like in the world of kitties, if you're not like a prestigious hunter, people don't take you seriously. And so, like, I wanna hunt, you know what I mean? I wanna hunt! Do, 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 do. Wait, I was sneaking though. How come my focus thing didn't fill up? My cat just launched himself at my face because he wanted to get on the back of the chair and it kind of scared me a little bit. It was like a cannonball going by the side of my head, an especially fat, kibble-filled cannonball. A little bit of Valerian over here. Hey, I'll take free XP any day. Sounds good to me. I'm trying to have I'm trying to have XP like all day, every day. You guys look like you're a little outgunned right now. I don't think I want to jump in on like losing fights at the moment. Like if that makes me a feline coward, then so be it. But like, you know, I'm like a fan of like winning fights. You know what I mean? Did I get him? I don't know what I did over there. I tried. I splashed around in the water for a minute. Missed him. There we go. We'll just kill him the old-fashioned way. Just walk up and claw him in the domer. We got a little bit of licorice over here. It's like two in the afternoon. There's lots of cat adventures we can have right now. Ooh, there's some valerian down here too. Oh, lavender. I accidentally scared all the other animals off the map though. Maybe we can get a bunny. Hey, I got him. Nice. His little, I knocked his little bunny soul out. I hit him so hard his bunny soul vanished into the ether. Let's see, this puts a strong scent for my colony in an area. Alright. Where am I right now? We have a vague influence in all of these areas. Like, why are we fighting over territory? Like, shouldn't we, in shouldn't we establish, like, a clear area of operation for each colony to limit violence and unnecessary pain? So all I'm saying is we should have like a United Nations of Cats that gets together and it's just like, hey, this is this person's boundary, this is this person's boundary. Like maybe we should not kill each other over dumb shit, you know what I mean? Like maybe we should not murder each other over slight trespasses. 
I was gonna say I knew there was something up here. I could taste it. We got the black hair. Oh, he can actually go through the woods. Nice. Got another black hair right there. I think we have food for days now. I wonder if the black hairs are worth a lot more. Yeah, Friff, take my friend, for he has ceased running. All that kind of stuff. Uh, let's head back to the colony, and I think we're kind of good for the day. My name is Splattercat. This is Cattails. If you wanted to see more of this feline survival game, leave me a comment down below and let me know that it's something that you want to see. I will see you all later. If you wanted to get the game for yourself, it's down below in the description. It's also on the Nintendo Switch in case you wanted to play it on the comfort of your couch or maybe on your handheld. I will see you all later. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.